Hey everyone, before I start blabbering about this week's subject, I have two announcements. One is that I got a new mic so you guys can hear me. Second, I would like to thank my good friend Logan for editing this week's in and last week's videos. He's probably going to be the only one we have on the show. Also, he's the one to thank for the pretty pictures. And I also might have him trapped in an editing dungeon, but still, hey, he's an awesome guy. Now, so, now that we've got that out of the way, do the thing, Logan. Uh, uh, down, down. Left, right, left, right. Once upon a 2014, I was going to back to play one of my favorite games of all time, Kid Icarus Uprising. And I was just about to start fighting the first boss once again. The boss was Cerebrus. I had very little health, and I'm and I'm just gonna say it, these bosses in this game can be some of the hardest to beat with very low health. But thank the gods, just before I entered the arena where the beast slept, an amazing item appears. Just before every boss fight forms right in front of me, the drink of the gods. That's not a phrase I'm using to describe it, that's what it's called in the game. The drink of the gods is an item that, that in the game that fully restores the player's health, and is in a bottle that only this item deserves to be in. With its pink magnificence, the drink of the gods helped me save the city from the fiery doom that awaited it if I did not smite this horrible beast. After beating the boss, I thanked the devs for putting this game in, item in the game. But then I wondered why. Sure, it could just be a balancer against the game's harder bosses, but that wasn't it. So I decided, it's examination time. Come on, grab your friends. No more copyright breaking. I looked around to the I looked around but I couldn't find it. After hours of hours of research, I got tired and I crawled into my bed, sad and lonely. I guess that the devs really did put it in this balancer. Maybe I was just doing this and it was all futile. But then I gave myself the biggest face palm I have ever given myself. The game was based around Greek mythology, not Japanese, and I was searching through Japanese mythology on Wikipedia. Sure, a few of the creatures from the game may seem Japanese in design, but overall, most of the game's design centers much around Greek mythology, and not Japan's, which is the game's country of origin, so I just kind of assumed that it would be Japanese. So I rushed myself over to my computer and swiftly pull up Wikipedia. I found a match. The Drink of the Gods from Kid Icarus Uprising was based off of, drumroll please, Logan. Thank you. The, dr the drink in the game is Am Nectar Ambrosia. That was obvious. Nectar Ambrosia is a substance delivered to the gods via doves, after which they feast on it. Made of many strange ingredients, the it could heal gods and even grant eternal life to those who didn't already have it. This fits in the old stories. Ambrosia even is pink shred like in the myths. Also, the bottle itself has wings on the sides, which could hint at the fact that it was delivered by doves, because it's dove wings on the side of the bottle. So, that's the thing. So, in conclusion, I have absolutely confirmed that the drink of the gods in Kid Icarus is Nectar Ambrosia from several Greek poems, epics, and myths. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video, if you've made it this far, that is. If you like this video, please leave a like and a nice comment or whatnot. This show sucks. Logan, shut up down there in your editing dungeon. Okay. Um, also, you might want to subscribe while you're at it. I'm not using money to keep Logan locked in. Um, your support makes it possible for us to make these videos, and we really enjoy making them for you. Thanks again, and see you next week. Bye-bye.